Why do people frequently use flowers as an example of natural beauty, but not plant roots? Biologically, they serve different functions. Roots absorb water and nutrients from the soil and stabilize the plant. The flower, on the other hand, is an advertisement to animal pollinators. Flowers rely on the subjective sensory perception of bees and other pollinators who see the flower, evaluate that experience, and then decide whether to feed on its nectar. The reproductive success of the flower depends on this decision, and if it is successful, there will soon be more like it. The optimal floral design cannot be determined by adaptation to physical laws, but only by how often it produces a subjective response within the pollinator. Wind-pollinated flowers, whose function can be described entirely by physical forces, have flowers that are devoid of any obvious aesthetic qualities. The current discipline of aesthetics is organized exclusively around the experiences of human beings. Beauty is treated as only a human perception. It is popular opinion that the beautiful colors seen in birds are of practical origin, showing any potential mates that the individual is healthy. But if you look at all the crazy displays, it seems to me that there are perhaps more practical ways to convey this information. The bird displays and the flowers still rely on a subjective perception within the brain of an animal that can't just be explained by practicalities. Art is a form of communication that evolves and is defined by the way it is perceived. Over time, the bees make flowers more artistic through selection. The disciplines of aesthetics, art criticism and art history should really encompass both humans and non-humans and should include evolutionary and behavioural biology. In the history of cosmology, each step humans have taken away from being the centre of the universe has produced an expansion in our knowledge of reality. Removing humans as the pillar of art and beauty will be a step towards a greater understanding of the beauty in the world around us.